Getting leads with paid media is always great, but many of our clients tell us they have a better chance of closing leads if they can get that user on the phone. That is where Google Ads call campaigns can help. The main objective of the campaign is to drive phone calls instead of visits to the website. This campaign runs just on mobile devices, and every time someone taps on your headline, it will be your phone number, not text, and you will be charged just like you would a regular click on your ad. So in this video, we will show you how to set up your phone number and the phone number call tracking within Google Ads. We'll go over the call campaign setup, and then we'll go over some extra details within your account settings to view call reporting. This Paid Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. If a client of ours wants to start running call campaigns, the first thing I want to do is to make sure that we have call conversion set up. Conversion tracking should be one of the first steps you perform before launching any campaign in general. So whether you're brand new to Google Ads or you just want to confirm that you have calls tracking within the account, go to your tools and settings. Depending on what view you have, I know Google Ads is slowly transitioning to the new experience. And then under measurement, we have conversions. This is our demo account, so I know we don't have it set up. So click on new conversion action. Of course, for call campaigns, we want to look at phone calls. And these calls will be coming from ads, so we will want this first option. Calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. The other two options are if the user is going to call from a number on your website. So now I'll click continue. So you do have the option to change the conversion from a primary or secondary action. Now in this case, if I'm ever running a campaign that's focused purely on calls, that should be a primary action in my opinion. I understand if you're only using phone calls for extensions, you may want to leave it as a secondary action but I'm gonna leave it as primary. We're looking at call campaigns. And then enter in your conversion name, choose your value, how much a phone call is worth to you. This is not a real client account, so I don't care. Just gonna pop in something so we can keep on moving. And then we can look at the count. How often do you want this conversion to count within your campaigns? I'm gonna leave it as one. You're only going to count a conversion for the first interaction with the user. You could switch the setting to every. So every time someone calls from your ad, whether it's the same person or not, it's going to count as a conversion. Next, you'll be able to track how long you want the call length to be to count towards the conversion. 60 seconds or one minute is the default. Go ahead and change it to whatever you'd like. Every account's gonna be different. Most likely, the longer the user stays on, the higher the quality or the higher the value of that interaction. And then you have your click-through conversion window. After somebody clicks on the phone number, if they convert later on, what's the window that you want to count that future conversion? 30 days is the default, but there's a variety of options and you can also set a custom number. And then your attribution settings for the conversion. But I'm good with this setup for now, so I'm gonna create and continue. But I'm done with conversion setup in general, so I'm just gonna X out of this completely so we can start setting up the call campaign. Back on the overview screen, and let's start creating this call campaign. I'm gonna go to a new campaign and new campaign again. And first we have to choose our campaign objective. For call campaigns, as of right now, we have three options. You will have to choose either sales, leads, or you can go ahead and create a campaign without a goals guidance. For this video, I'm going to stick with leads. Next, verify the conversion goals that you want to use for this campaign. So you can see that is exactly why I started off the demo part of this video by setting up the call goal. You want to make sure that goal is included within this section, but feel free to add any other important actions that would also be valuable for the campaign. So now I'll click continue. And for the campaign type, you will need to choose search. After you choose that option, Google's gonna ask how you would like to reach the goal. So of course, we wanna choose phone calls. There you will see Google will ask for your phone number. If I click on this drop down, you can see that there are a lot of countries that are allowed to use call campaigns, and that's fine. I have to stick with the US, and then go ahead and enter in your phone number. We'll see if Google yells at me later because this isn't our official business phone number, but I'm trying to do this so nothing has to get blurred out. So don't be confused if all of a sudden later in the video you see the phone number change. But then I'm just going to name my campaign and then go ahead and continue. Next, go ahead, choose your bid strategy. All the typical ones are going to be there. Confirm your customer acquisition setting. If you choose to optimize campaign for new customers, 
I'm not going to go deep into this. Michelle already made a video about this setting. You could check it out here for more information. For now, I just want to keep going. One thing that you may notice about the campaign settings, especially the network settings, is that the display network is not allowed. And I have no complaints here. These campaigns will only run on search. And typically when I'm building or managing a search campaign, I turn off the display network anyway. The intent between the two networks is completely different. But you do have the option to turn off search partners if you'd like. That is going to be a personal preference based upon how your other campaigns typically perform on search partners. For us, it's a mixed bag. So maybe try it out at first. You can always turn it off later. Then go ahead, choose your locations, choose your languages, layer in any audience segments if you want to for observation purposes, or if you have large enough audiences for RLSA, confirm your broad match settings, your automatically created asset settings. And if you're curious about more settings, there's your ad rotation, start and end dates, ad schedule, URL trackings, and brand restrictions. But let's click next again. First, I'm just gonna change the name of my ad group first, and then go ahead and start pasting in your keywords or start typing in some keyword ideas and then possibly get some suggestions that you'd want to use. I already have a list pulled off to the side, so let me just grab it so we can paste it. Okay, there's just a couple just to get something going. We scroll down a little bit. Now we can start creating our ads for the call campaign. Now with call campaigns, the final URL is optional. You do not have to include it, but once you do, you will see kind of like a site link extension below your call ad. The second URL is a verification URL, and this is a mandatory field. This is to verify that the phone number you are using within your call ad exists on your website, or if you're using the final URL, the number you are using in your ad exists on your landing page. But as I just pasted in our URL, you get an idea of what this ad would look like with the additional URL extension at the bottom. Now Google's yelling at me because I didn't make it secure. Next, going down, you can add your display path if you use them within your ads. And a majority of these fields are also optional. You can add up to two headlines, 30 characters each because it is search, but both of them are optional. Your business name, however, is required. And then you can see in the ad preview where that one lives. The other field that is mandatory is your first description line. I'm just going to paste something here. But the second description line is also optional. So through the magic of editing, you can snap my fingers and I'm gonna fill in the rest of these three optional fields. All right, this ad doesn't make sense. I'm just pasting it from other ad examples in our other account. But looking at the ad preview, you get a sense of what your call campaign ad would look like if everything is filled in. The final URL extension, both descriptions filled in, even though it's cut off, that's where the headlines are, there's our business name, and as always, the phone number will be the main headline. Someone's gonna tap it on their phone, it's gonna bring up the call prompt, and then the user can decide if they fully wanna call. Now, through the magic of editing again, I'm gonna remove all the optional fields so you can see what a bare bones call only ad would look like. And there we have the bare bones minimum of what is needed for a call campaign ad. Scrolling down a little bit, you may have noticed something about call reporting. Don't worry, I'm gonna end with call reporting. But for this ad, I'm gonna click done. Go ahead, feel free to copy this if you want to. Create different options. If you want to test different varieties and combinations, go for it. But for now, I'm just going to click Next. Verify your budget. I'm going to leave it as is. Click Next. Google is just checking for errors. I know they don't like this customer acquisition setting, but I'm not going to change it. I'm good with what it is for this demo, so let's just publish the campaign. Okay, we are live. Hooray. I am in the call only campaign already. If I click on Add Groups, you will be able to go ahead and modify your columns to show whatever metrics are going to be important to you. But if you're really focused on just the call metrics, go to your columns and let's modify. And you may be most interested in call details. So there's the overall phone calls, phone impressions, and then your phone through rate. And if this one's new to you, Google says it right here. Total number of phone calls received divided by your phone impressions. But as you can see, there is a lot of other options that you can add for your columns, but just wanted to call out the call details. Now, when I was creating the call ad, I mentioned call reporting. And to find that, click on your settings. I was hoping it'd pull up my account settings. Boo. Let's open this up. Let's go to all campaigns. And there's our account settings. There we see the option for call reporting. Since we've never set up call tracking within this demo account before, we've never turned it on. The default will be off. So you will always have to come in here and turn it on if you haven't done so already. And there we see some pretty cool options. Do you want to have the calls recorded? so you can go back and listen to the calls later on. If so, you can turn it on with this setting here. Google says the call ad or call extension must be a US-based phone number and you have to have the verified URL. In our case, that's mandatory anyway. 
Do you want the call data to be sent to a third party provider? If so, I'll acknowledge the data usage and then you have to choose which provider. There's call rail, call tracking metrics, dialog tech, Invoca. Pretty much the most common ones are all included within here. So if you do have one of these accounts, feel free to choose it here. You may want to go back up to your tools and settings and see if you can link the accounts as well. We don't have that, so I have to turn this off. We already controlled how calls are counted as conversions, so I don't need to go through that again. And now I can click save. Now what about these detailed call reports? For that, I'm going to head back to the campaign, click on the campaign. And once I'm back in the call campaign, I'm going to want to click on reports. And since I'm still using the older experience, I will go to assets legacy and there's call details. Those with the newer experience might see it within this assets option, but this is just our demo account. So we're not really active here. I'm going to go back up, click on call details. Of course, we're not going to see anything. I just created it. I just launched it, but here's where you're going to get the start time of the call, how long the call is, country code, area code, the actual phone number, you will be able to click and listen to the recording. And then you'll be able to tie that into the specific campaign or ad group, depending on how many call campaigns you've created. So besides just reviewing all your column metrics, you'll be able to actually hear the quality of these phone calls. Are they actually good? Are they junk? Do you need to optimize anything? Do you need to turn the campaign off? Can you actually attribute closed customers to these Google ads campaigns? All of that information will be there. And that is how you can set up a call campaign. I understand that this campaign type isn't going to be for everyone, but it's pretty straightforward. Do you want more phone calls or not? If phone calls are valuable to you, then you should test this campaign out. As you saw within the call ad creation, you can test a variety of different looks for your call ad. Maybe someone needs to click to go to your website to look a little bit before they decide to call. So maybe that final URL is valuable to you. You won't know until you test it out. Maybe you need to test a variety of different keywords. Sometimes different keyword groupings are more call focused than others. Test that out as well. But if you have any favorite strategies that you like to use for call campaigns or want to share any successes or losses from them, please do so in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.